Hi guys, the Pinoy Koi Keeper here and today I'm going to show you how I use potassium permanganate on the koi's that I'm going to transfer to the main pond from the quarantine period and remember guys this is basically the same when you have a new fish and you want to quarantine it I usually uh, do a potassium perman permanganate bath to it before I put it to the quarantine tank or uh, pond so somebody requested an English version of this so I'm going to show you how I did it so first you prepare a small uh, small I don't know what's the English of this but basically a small container uh, with around uh, four to six liters of water and then in the other side you're going to prepare a container as well with clean water and this is the potassium or the amount of potassium permanganate that we're going to use guys uh, just a very tiny amount this is a tablespoon and then basically this is it so you just need to put this on the container and then mix it and make sure that the potassium permanganate guys is uh, properly melted uh, there should be no uh, solid potassium permanganate anymore so let's just uh, wait a bit until you'll notice uh, you'll know that it's already uh, mixed with the water and you can no longer see the particles of the potassium permanganate uh, underneath the or in, on the surface of the container so you just need to mix it and once the color changes to this color so it means that uh, it's almost ready so I can still see uh, solid permanganate so we're going to to stir it properly stir it well until there is no more left okay. so basically there are just a tiny bits of it the reason for this guys that we need to we need to properly melt the potassium permanganate is because uh, when you put it on the fish some fish will attempt to eat it and when the fish accidentally swallowed it uh, it will cause some uh, bloating inside the internals of the fish and the fish might die so make sure that there's no more solid potassium permanganate when you apply it okay so now it's ready you just need to pour this solution here and basically bat the koi for a few minutes so the question always is how long do you bat your koi uh, in this potassium permanganate solution so basically guys um, it should it should be just around uh, three to five minutes but just observe the koi guys because you will know when they had too much because basically they will start to to show symptoms of suffocation so do not wait for the koi to you know to to be weakened before you move the koi to the pan okay because uh, uh, the potassium permanganate guys could actually damage or burn your koi gills and it's not going to be good for the koi so uh, second question do I need to put a uh, hydrogen peroxide well basically uh, you can also add hydrogen peroxide uh, it will remove the, the potassium permanganate in the water but in my practice I just don't uh, add any if it's just batting you know if, if I'm just batting the koi I don't really need to add uh, hydrogen peroxide because anyway after a few minutes I will just get the koi and put them on the fish pan so but if I'm doing the 
potassium permanganate treatment on the main pan uh, it's really advisable to have uh, hydrogen peroxide with you because the hydrogen peroxide will basically uh, remove the potassium permanganate from the water and from the uh, fish gills but basically guys uh, when you bought the koi and then you transfer it to the the to the pond uh, the potassium permanganate will just disappear as well so all right now most probably it's around three minutes already so you can actually extend this to five minutes but uh, this basically the safest uh, uh, contact time is just around three to five minutes for batting uh, that will already kill the the flukes the costcha the drycotina but yeah you can uh, you can extend but just remember to observe the koi if they are just swimming like this it means uh, it's just okay they can still handle it but when they are swimming like as if they can no longer breathe then like, like this you see you notice they are uh, attempting to gasp for air then basically that's the time that you need to remove the koi and put it to the main pan so basically in a matter of seconds potassium permanganate can actually kill the parasite already uh, I saw it in a microscope in a matter of 10 to 20 seconds the flux is already dead so also guys uh, when handling potassium permanganate make sure that you don't touch it because it will really dis uh, uh, add this brownish color to your skin and uh, be careful uh, not uh, for it to uh, be careful that the potassium permanganate will not go to your eyes because it's gonna sting a bit so okay guys it's time for me to put the koi to the pond so I'm going to use this uh, there so basically guys I have quarantined this koi already so they are safe for transfer oops somebody a koi jump guys so I need to pick it up a bit so I'm gonna end the video so I can properly transfer this because I'm holding the camera on the other hand <laughs> thank you for watching